been very handsome. But if it hadn't been for you, I should not have been there. But you forget this week you need it. The day I met you was the blackest day of my life. Not only slander, defamation, humiliation, threats of dispossession, prosecution, and to crown it all. Murder, yes, it has indeed been an eventful week. Event? Event? You heard Lord Bedlington's threat. He's going to take it to a higher court. Bow Street, Newgate Prison. No doubt after that, the gallows. And he may well do so. You see, he wants possession of high noons. Then he may have it, for I intend to leave immediately. That would be very unwise of you. He has secured us both of murder. Both? Well, if you leave now, he may well claim it as an admission of your guilt. But Well, what's to be done? There must be something. There is. You must find your husband. Again? You would think I'd be an improvement on Eustace. Even Uncle seemed to think so. Well, Lord Carlyon, is this a proposal of marriage? One might call it that. It may seem strange to you. But I've always considered marriage as a way of life, a happiness that two people can share. Romance. Even love. Love? No, I suppose that would be absurd. No, this would be a mere formality, a strategy. Strategy? A defense against Bedlington's accusation. Once you were my wife, neither of us could be compelled to testify against the other. Oh! You're insufferable! <laughs> said one was enough to see him on his way. One, but... in 
I'm glad to see you are feeling strong. Thank you. My disposition is purely emotional. I fear the service was inconveniently short. Frankly, yes. And yet I'm pleased it was short. I've met you so much the sooner, madam. Well, Eustace. Yes, it was most unfortunate. I mean, to lose you so soon. Mr. Cheviot, what are you looking for in this house? Uh, it is an affair of honor, madam. In these modern times, there are some who treat such matters lightly. I fear I must be old-fashioned. Wait, continue the search. If anything of mine can secure yours. You are very considerate. May I ask what you expect to find? In a word, ma'am, letters. Uh, love letters. There is a lady much at court, a French lady. Madame de Chevreux. The same. A relative of mine was, uh, well, to say, a friend of hers. And to be brief, he wrote, and she kept. He offered to buy, and she agreed to sell. The matter was dead. And then there was an intermediary who, at the most crucial moment of the negotiations, died. Eustace. Eustace. I see. Then surely these letters will be amongst his other papers. Yes, one would think so. But he has no papers. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I must confess. I 
will raise their stats. Lord Talion has Ah. Perhaps you should confide in him. I could scarcely do that. You see, this relative of mine was only one of the lady's friends. And if you'll forgive me, Lord Carlion was another. I see I should not have spoken of that. And I was forgetting that you and he 